you guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. This week, I did something a little bit crazy. I decided to do a challenge which I can only think I was not in my right mind when I decided to do. And that was to burn 4,000 calories in one day. I uh, may have had this idea very late at night and I may have woken up the next morning by accident at 5.45 for no reason that I can possibly think of. So I think it must have just been willed by the gods. The universe just wanted me to do this video because if I had set an alarm at that time, I would have turned it off and come up with a completely different video idea because ew, I hate early morning rising. It sucks. So you're about to experience a vlog where I burn or attempt to burn 4,000 calories in one day, one day. And I want to talk to you guys about all of the things that I found happened whilst I was doing this in terms of my IBS, bloating, systematic bloating, and other symptoms that people with IBD and things like that are going to experience. And just what it was like to put my body through this challenge as an individual with a bloating or gut health condition. Okay, so it is 8.20 in the morning and I am very aware that I have only burnt 569 calories. I need to go prepare for a hike though. Is this device? What does it do? It's a sound. The first thing that I noticed made, made a massive difference is that I wasn't stressed and I had a really clear head. Now that isn't really to do with bloating or digestion, but I was out in nature so much throughout this and I had a slightly elevated heart rate. I was in fresh air, I was around nature, I was moving my body and I was fueling it with food as I went and staying hydrated. And I had such a clear head, like it felt so amazing. Like I wasn't stressed out, I wasn't thinking about my to-do list, I wasn't thinking about my current weight loss journey, I wasn't doing any of that. I was just in the moment and living an experience while cracking on with a challenge in quite a relaxed manner and that felt so good and obviously because I was less stressed that meant that my body wasn't triggering these fight and flight hormones so things like cortisol things like adrenaline noradrenaline those substances won't have been in my system in damaging consistencies and I literally cannot tell you how amazing it felt just to exist without any of those problems without any of that head fog and I think that that's one of the things that really improved whilst I was doing this challenge was that I wasn't releasing stress hormones in copious amounts. It was a really nice experience. There's a donkey down here. Hello. Oh, don't hurt me. You okay? Damn, you've given me some attitude. Okay, so we are 58 minutes into our hike, which is, we're quite slow today. Yeah, quite slow. Very Good slow. Job. And we are 3.7 kilometers in. 
and about 330 calories into the hike. Feeling good, it's very beautiful, isn't it? It is very beautiful. It's Proper. gorge. Another thing that I noticed throughout this challenge is that I have much better circulation. I normally run very cold as a person. I'm constantly in need of being warmed up, but I didn't find that on this day. But better circulation obviously took place for a couple of reasons. And one of those reasons was of course that I was moving around a lot. But another reason was that I was just more relaxed and less tense. And therefore I have better circulation and better movement throughout my body, including to muscles in my digestive system for things like peristalsis, allowing everything to move along. <laughs> It is. Uh, we got one hour 48 in. We are 7.34 kilometers in. We are 645 calories into this height. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Somebody needs to safety real vendetta against the left hand side of that tree. Maybe it's like a style. Maybe it's like a side pony, but for a tree. Is this, is this sort of the fashion these days? It is lunchtime. I'm down. Oh, mm. yes, nom. Tasty. These are my new favorite things in the entire world. <laughs> cool. Well, we've probably got moving again. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Just go for it. No. Yeah. <laughs> this is where I drop my phone. That is, uh, that is 10 out of 10. Not my job material. What is it? What does it mean? Really zony. Wheelies only. Wheelies only, baby. <laughs> we are 10.32 kilometers into this hike. Very pretty, very orange. 874 calories burnt. It's about 1600 total for the day so far. I'm not bloated, I'm not uncomfortable. I'm having a fab time. This is very cute. Yeah, it's a sunlight, I'm just thinking. Oh. oh. Oh, baby, check out that contour support. I where, don't where understand how. Where like supposed to be? <laughs> I'm quite comfy now. Bend your knees. No, I think I should be. And put your feet on the floor. I think I should be firm. You're not using the headrest. No, I'm not because I don't, it's not a headrest. It's a plank of wood. That was a brilliant hike. We did. I think we did around 16 kilometers. Um, so that's 1,216 calories. My feet hurt quite a bit. I've done 2,198 calories and it is 2.29. And because we forgot our first aid kit, we're very happy that there were no hiccups. Yeah. We both forgot our first aid kits. Okay, I would have had to make a 20K out of like a, out of like a, like a bunch of leaves and a part of a horse, I don't know. <laughs> Would have been okay. So in the eventuality that I am bleeding out, you're going to kill a horse, collect some leaves, and no. then dismember the horse. No, no, no. I'm going to ask the horse nicely. You're going to ask the horse nicely yeah. to give up some there's, part of its body. Some tail. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm with that. Signing off. One of the things I did find in the car on the way home from the hike, I did find that I bloated and had a few stomach cramps, which was probably something to do with the fact that I hadn't sat down in ages. And then my stomach was more compact when I finally did. Okay, so we are back from the hike and I have to say I am so just want to curl up in a ball. The bloating pain subsided definitely. It subsided quite quickly. And I do think that that was just my body kind of recovering a little bit from the hike. Um, so it didn't last for very long, which is good. It is currently 3.32 in the afternoon and I've burnt 2,321 calories. So I need to do my thumbnail, put the video up, and then I need to go to the gym because I'm not even close. I am literally past halfway in the day for sure and I'm not close enough to my target here. Okay, so I have just got that video up and live and it is 4.44 and I'm at 2,400 calories. So we're still quite a ways off. I was number one, gonna go to the gym early uh, than Ben. I was gonna go an hour before him, but he now needs a lift there. And number two, that took longer than I thought. So I was gonna try and fit in a workout in at home and that's not gonna work either. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch it out for like five, 10 minutes and get ready for the gym, then do cardio, then do weights, then go for my swim and pray for the love of God that I hit 4,000 calories. <laughs> Okay, I 
I'm seriously running late, but I need to go pick that up and then we're going to the gym. That stretch session was pretty good, not gonna lie. I'm on 24,000 steps. I'm on 2,525 calories and it is 10 past five, which is the time I was supposed to get to his house which is 10 minutes away. So the third thing that I found and my I loved it the most thing, and that was increased gut motility. I could feel no matter what snacks I threw at my body, no matter what I ate, my digestive system was like, yeah, right, I'm on it. I've got it, I know what I'm doing, see you on the other side. I had no bloating, I had no stomach cramps, and I was a happy bunny just going along, and that felt so good. It felt so amazing. I will just say quickly that there are a lot of people in the gym upstairs and I am not feeling happy or confident about filming in front of them. But we've burnt 2,599 calories, so 2,600 and it is 5.30 so I still need to burn a lot. Let me just do this math quickly. If you want 4,000 by midnight, I need to burn a thousand calories in the gym. Don't see that happening. Let's give it a whirl. Okay, we are out of the gym. I'll tell you one thing that I find really weird that I haven't experienced today. I haven't experienced much hunger. I felt it once during the hike. It was very mild. I ate some food, it went away. I haven't been bloated other than the drive home, but I'm burning so many calories, so I just don't, I feel like I should have my stomach grumbling all the time. Yes, I am snacking regularly, and I suppose I'm snacking regularly without the consequences of eating constantly. Often I want to have three or four meals throughout the day at the same time every day to help with digestion and make sure I'm not bloating, whereas I'm not really finding I have that problem today. I can eat what I want, when I want, I won't bloat. My body just kind of cracks on with it. Okay, gym session over. It's 7.40. How was that? Yeah, it was a pretty good one. It started off pretty rough. Yeah. We are over 3,000 calories at this point, which is good. I'm so hungry. Mm, yeah. Okay, dinner time. Oh yeah. Oh, it looks tasty. Now, whilst I said that I haven't been bloated all day and that's all very well and good, I have long stem broccoli and peas on my plate. Greens, both trigger foods for me. So let's see how that holds up with all of the extra calories. Also, as you can see in the vlog, that meal that I eat at the end of the day is a big plate of food. It's got meat, it's got green veggies, which were trigger food for me. It's got potato, it's got pretty much everything, and it's rich food as well. So, so yummy, but rich food. And sometimes rich food can feel quite heavy to me. It can trigger my bloating, it can give me cramps. And all I felt after that meal was full. Full and happy, and I wasn't bloated at all. So we are at 3,600 calories. It is 8.25 in the evening. Feel good, I was so full after that meal, but not bloated in the slightest. I finished eating like five, 10 minutes ago. Sat down, relaxed out. No bloating, and I ate so much food, and I feel so good. And you know, if I had to compare it to a sensation that I felt in the past, it would be after my 66 hour fast, which I did when my bloating was really, really poor a couple of years ago. If you're interested in seeing that vlog, I'll link it up there for you and also drop it in the description bar below. But that was an experience that was very challenging. It was three days of not eating. And then at the end of it, I had like six weeks of benefits. And for the first time in about 18 months, I was able to eat and feel full as opposed to bloated, but I got that from this day of four th burning 4,000 calories. That's not a success of a day. I don't know what is. I actually can't believe that I'm gonna hit it. Nearly at 3,700 and it's 8.45. <sighs> I was so worried that I was gonna have to be pumping out a workout at 11.45 in order to meet this goal, but I have done it. And I think the hike is the reason I did it. Food is just very, very happily traveling through me with no issues. I feel very good about that. The last thing I want to say is I've had long-term benefits from this. Not only did I have these benefits throughout what was going on for this, but I also had benefits moving forward from the 4,000 day calorie burn. So we're now eight days post this challenge and I literally haven't had a bloating flare up since. But I would like to highlight the fact that I have worked out on two other days. I worked out on Tuesday and I worked out yesterday. And I think a lot of this, whilst this is a very extreme challenge, a lot of the things to take from this video is that exercise is amazing. It helps with a 
wider variety of gut flora, which is probably why I'm having long-term benefits. It helps with circulation, it helps with gut motility, it helps with reducing stress hormones, it helps with avoiding fight or flight response. There is so much that exercise can do for you and your gut, and I am so glad that I freaking completed this challenge because don't get me wrong, I was not sure I was gonna do it, but I sweated my ass off in that gym session. And then I think also you burn a lot more calories once you finish exercise because your heart rate remains elevated and lots of other things like that. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure to shoot me a thumbs up. Also, if you're new here, make sure to jump on down to that subscribe button or leave me a comment in the comment section below if there's any content you wanna see coming your way. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next week. Bye.